Uh, my name is William Bodie, and excuse the appearance, but I ran right over here from work. And um, the first thing I want to say is that uh, I have a lot invested in this building personally. I have got a lot of work invested in the building. I was primarily responsible for the removal of the, of the stucco from the building and restoration of the windows from the building. I have not been paid for a good portion of that work. I have a lien against the building to the tune of $42,000. Uh, so it's real, it's a major concern to me personally that the building stay in one piece. Uh, I ha have an emotional attachment to it because I've done all this work. Any of you who have done any kind of construction work or contracting work, when you work on something, you get emotionally involved. You have a lot of craftsmanship, a lot of skill put into something and you hate to see it destroyed. Uh, one of the things I'd like to, uh, to mention with Mr. Lewis is you might consider an engineering study to see if tearing down the back of the building will destroy the front of the building. Um, we, have, we have businesses attached to the front of that building. How a demolition will affect uh, the businesses to either side of that building when you do tear it down. Uh, we're all talking about money and the lack of money. I, I read that number of $167,000, and I think that's very low uh, to, to demolish the building. We don't have that kind of money. You know, where is that money going to come from? It seems to me that we would be better off to, to really address the citizenry of this community to band together and put money, to, I mean, I'll pony up $100. If everybody in town ponies up $100, that's $100,000 for from 1,000 people. And we have a better chance of getting the money to stabilize, to, uh, to make the building safe, to remove the pigeon poop, to do whatever it takes to make a sellable building so that I might possibly get my money back. Uh, all the work that I did on the face of the building definitely created a building that's sellable, but it's not sellable full of crap. It's not sellable full of crap on the building, on the, on the roof of the building. It's not sellable with crap in between the building and the back of the building. That stuff we can do. We can remove that stuff. We can climb up on the roof and take the crap off the roof. Uh, there are things we can do proactive. It's not going to cost us any money. It's going to cost us manpower and organizing manpower to do it. If we need scaffolding or ladders or whatever, I've got them. I was on top of that scaffolding most of the time doing the stuff re removal because no one on my crew would get up there. I'm 60 years old. You know, we got a lot of young people in this town that can jump on that roof and re remove material. Let's band together and be community here. Let's not get caught up in the legality of this thing. Let's make it safe and save this building. That's all I've got to say. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bodie.